Frima is a, a very visionary person. He can think about five to ten years in the future. I think he has this broad um, uh, view of the world. If I had to use one word to describe my dad, it would probably be driven. Uh, you can see this in all aspects of his life, but mostly in his work career. He's very, very passionate about what he does, and he puts and he does everything to the best of his ability. I notice him to be a very easygoing person, uh, a lot more outgoing than average civil engineering students. Um, he's a fun guy to be with. So first time he met me, he saw my lab, and he saw some batteries in the lab. And I told him that I'm doing research on a specific technology, and I had developed this technology in my lab uh, called vehicle to grid. He was excited with that technology. And so when he came back next time, he said, how is that technology going? Has it been adopted? As we started uh, with a new business in the field of vehicle uh, electrification, he fully trusted me and our team to get started from the scratch. And within a very short period of time, we achieved the target as set at the very beginning. I think this uh, shows his uh, strength in leadership and especially in terms of empowerment. And he has this magnetic character, personality, and that attracts a lot of people of uh, the same mindset to work together. He always think ahead of the people. Beyond the current horizon, how the society, how transportation, how vehicles will evolve in the next 10, 15 years. That's why uh, I do invest in them. I think the biggest impact my dad has on my education was um, just teaching me that sometimes failure comes, but you have to realize that not all of it is because of other people, and mostly it's going to be because of yourself. I think he has a very young mind and young heart. Uh, that's the first thing, and he is really willing to learn new tricks, new knowledge, new technology, you know, everything. Uh, beside. He is also very encouraging to the, to the next generation. Uh, with Freeman's outgoing personality um, and his way of dealing with people and how easy he can make friends with others, among all of us, this classmate, we know he's going to go into um, private practice, uh, maybe open up his company. Sure enough, now he has built a very successful electric vehicle company. Freeman has worked in US, in Europe, in China, knows the entire global value chain and supply chain. And his belief that uh, uh, his technology and product uh, can make people better uh, is also a common belief from the worldwide um, society. The fact that my dad works in a business that's helping better the environment and on such a great large scale is very nice to know. And I fully support him in what he's doing. He's uh, trusted to the team and his, uh, his uh, empowerment to, to the team. This kind of features and his personal characters certainly also plays a very important role. I look at him as being a visionary. The world needs more visionaries like him. And I'm excited about uh, what he's doing. And I think it fits in very well with the research we're doing here in UCLA. His dream was to build affordable, smart, and fun cars that are accessible to everyone. It has been a challenging journey. Because unlike buildings, cars move. But with innovation, technology, and perseverance, dreams come true. And the time is now. We want to build 20,000 cars, 20,000 cars, 20,000 cars, 20,000 cars, 20,000 cars, 20,000 cars.